This project is a study to evaluate maturity group and planting date across a wide range of different latitudes. The project is funded by the Mid-South Soybean Board and the United Soybean Board in a joint project. Soybean is a unique crop in that it has a very wide window in which it can be planted. You can begin planting soybeans soon after the danger of frost has ended and continue all the way until mid-June or early July. A goal of this research is to help farmers determine at any given day of the year for their particular location what the best maturity group choice is for them to plant. We take pictures with a digital camera from above, like this, and this allows us to get a good estimate of light interception of the canopy. We're taking these pictures over time and also at other different locations and it will allow us to estimate when the canopy is closing for any uh, row spacing and maturity group. The, the experiment is located at eight different locations spread across Arkansas, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, and Missouri. This is a maturity group three soybean. It's planted on 18 inch rows. One of the things that we're looking for is how quickly the soybean canopy is closes during the growing season. These early maturing soybeans need to be planted very often on narrow rows so they can close completely. At each location, we have four maturity groups, maturity groups three, four, five, and six, planted at four different planting dates from early March all the way into early June. And within each maturity group, we have four different varieties. This is a maturity group four soybean that is, uh, uh, will just be a, a, about a week behind the maturity group threes. In addition to looking at yield levels for this experiment, we're very interested in helping farmers predict crop development. So we would like for farmers to be able to know when a, their soybean cultivar flowers, when it begins to set pods, when it will be mature. This information is important because it allows farmers to schedule important farming activities for their whole farm. When equipment will be needed, when irrigation will be needed, when irrigation can be terminated, and when harvest equipment is needed. We are also taking a close look at phenology stages. So I come to the field to check on phenology regularly. Right now this is a maturity group 3 and it's at R2 stage, flowering stage R2. And so over this wide range of latitudes and the wide range of planting dates that soybean farmers typically have, this is a very practical and applied issue that they need to be able to understand. The information on crop phenology and crop development will also be important and it will help farmers understand better when insecticides may be needed, when fungicides may be needed during the course of the season. And we'll be taking notes on this in all of our different experimental sites.